Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to take another look at the 540 Marlboro Exclusive Majestic Views Lighter. I was conversing with Doe John in the comments of the original video for this lighter the other day. And he was asking about what he thought might be a defect on the top of the lid of the lighter. I had noticed some similar variations or what looked like it possibly could be a defect to me. I've also seen a lot of talk in the Facebook lighter groups lately about defects on finishes of lighters coming straight from the factory. So I thought it would be worthwhile to go ahead and take another look and let's just see if the variations that Doe John described and the variations that I have seen on the finish of my own lighter are in fact defects or the intended finish of the lighter. Our friend Migo Ring also made a couple of videos a few months back regarding the finish of brand new Zippo lighters coming from the factory and how some of those finishes had worn off way prematurely. You can see there are lines there that sort of look like cracks in the paint. And I'm not even sure that this finish is paint to begin with. But that is the concern that Doe John had was where those lines on the top and I can't remember now which side it is but it looks like one side of it there are more pronounced lines that look like they could be cracks upon a little further investigation I got on eBay and looked at other lighters that are currently up for sale other majestic views and not very many of them had photos of the top but the ones that did seem to exhibit the same qualities as my lighter shows as I said it definitely each corner has its own subtleties on that lid that make it look like it could be a defect. The mirror aspect of this lighter has also got me a little confused because the back spine is perfectly uniform from side to side but you can see here on the front we have a light blue spot down here at the bottom which is not mirrored on the other side. Although when you look at each image, which is just the reverse image of the other, the image itself seems to be fine without it. So it's not truly mirrored, I guess. Or can somebody else explain to me how these identical rivers are flowing together? but we've only got the light spot on one side. However you look at it though, when you look at other examples of the Majestic View or Virgin River Zion Version 2 as Zippo labels it, all the other examples that I see online where the back spine here looks perfectly uniform, the front is not. They all have that blue spot in the river down there toward the bottom on the left that is not on the right and there also looks like maybe a little outcropping when I first saw that I thought that was the back of an eagle or a hawk flying and that were wings that were spread out but now that I look at it I think that is just the water breaking against the riverbank and as I said it does show that on both sides but not the other breaking water below that in the stream that one is just on the left side not on the right 
it's a pretty cool little graphic and you can see the hinge is not covered kind of looks like it has a coating of some kind of fine powder or maybe it's just not finished real shiny or like high polish maybe it's just a I don't know nickel plated or something there you can see that light blue spot on the bottom that I was referring to and there is a spot right to the right of that little light spot that is also just on the left so I may have to take some actual photographs of this lighter to actually see and then even then I may not be able to discern precisely what we are viewing but it's still very cool however it all meets up and why ever there are differences in the way that it is wrapped or mirrored it doesn't take much of an imagination or deal with many old lighters to see that line in that top of the lid and to think that that might be cracked paint but I don't think although it does look like there's a lot of overspray on the inside of the case I don't get the feeling that this 540 color process is all that thick I could be wrong could be completely wrong about that I examined this lighter really closely when I got it and I noticed that anomaly on the left there while I was making it but decided not to focus on it because I was just basically doing an unboxing of the lighter and didn't know whether that was normal or not so when I got the comment from Doe John was definitely happy to take another look because you see these conversations happening a lot in the Facebook lighter groups people spend a lot of money on these collectibles of the years and things like that then they receive them with the embellishments crooked or the wrong base stamp or insert and things like that and then, as I mentioned earlier, our friend Migorang has also done some videos. He's had a couple of lighters that he received directly from Zippo that the finish was already ruined. Just completely lost their collectible value before he really even had a chance to collect it or admire what he had collected. I think this is going to be the end of the road for me for now at least on the Marlboro exclusive lighters the others don't really appeal to me other than the two I've had uh, although I might I might try to get another one of these I really would like to carry one of these to see how it holds up it's a beautiful lighter I really like it a lot but it'll be interesting to see exactly how long they offer the current catalog of what Marlboro calls custom Zippo lighters. So it's not as though I have every question answered about this lighter, but I don't think there's any defects. I think that that's just sort of the way that the bend or the crinkle of the wrap of the image that was used on the lighter sort of mesh together. I know that's not a technical way to describe it, and I'm not even sure if it's accurate, but it's the best I can do. Until next time.